Old high school Christian used to get up in the grand rising, which used to be the good morning, and I would immediately scroll on my phone for 30 plus minutes in bed. And then I would proceed in the day, opting for all the stimulants like processed, inorganic coffee laden in glyphosate, mycotoxins, mold, drank that up, get a little stimulated from all that jazziness. And then I would proceed to opt for the drive-through to Chick-fil-A, or go into some Chipotle for lunch, skipping breakfast. And then I would go throughout the day pondering the workout I'm gonna pursue, maybe. And then end up skipping it because I know, well, I don't have the energy for it from eating all the seed oils and the processed fried foods. And then I would go on into the night and the evening, scrolling on some more artificial blue light, watching some pornography to get a little bit more of a dopamine rush, staying up past midnight once more and repeat this cycle time and time again. But then there would be this mojo that would kick into gear and it would be like a week or so meshed into these consistent weeks of being unhealthy that would be quite healthy. I would actually start going to the market and getting organic whole foods. I would eat some grass-fed beef, avocado, blueberries, go to bed at a good time around 10.30 p.m. and wake up at 7 a.m. consistently with the sunlight. I would quit the pornography because I knew it wasn't serving me and it didn't feel so good. I would get off my phone more often, spend more time in nature or just meditating. Does this sound like you, where you have these consistencies but inconsistently being consistently consistent, uh, inconsistent? You know what I'm saying. Basically the whole idea of inconsistently being healthy. A lot of us are suffering with this because there's so many dopamine imbalances in our world. They're very much distracting and preventing us from being our highest self. So if we can take complete personal responsibility and ownership for our actions and reactions and habits, we'll begin to have that consistency of living a healthy lifestyle and making it a lifestyle, making a holistic lifestyle a lifestyle. If this sounds like something you wanna tap into, this video is for you because we're gonna be going into all the jazziness on how to make these habits consistent with our nutrition, our sleep schedule, our fitness, any healthy habit, we're gonna talk about how you can make it into an ingrained part of your lifestyle and being forever. So let's jump into it. Goofy Goobers, my name is Christian Van Camp. I'm a holistic lifestyle and performance coach in this 3D realm and the 4D and many other traits and uh, you know things up my sleeve. But ultimately, I like to make a lot of conscious content on all platforms to support you in your well-being. You can follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, here on YouTube. I have a lot of good stuff coming out nearly every week. But ultimately, my goal is to help you connect back to nature more, your natural essence, your energy. If that sounds like something you wanna learn more about and consistently learn every single week, join my email tribe at cvcwellness.com. I have a free guide I can send you as well and I send out zero spam and a lot of support every single week and if you want to learn that much more and have direct connectedness with my knowledge base over 10 years and over 250 clients intimately supporting them on their well-being well we can connect for a very low rate subscription in my awesome community vital camp where I help coaches coach I help them and maybe yourself who's just getting started on your journey a novice improve your overall wellness with your fitness habits, your nutrition habits, your mindset, and your entrepreneurship and online content creation to become financially free. So you can join VitalCamp at vitalcamp.co. We'd be happy to connect with you or you can just book a call with me and we can talk more about it intimately. But with all that being said, there's kind of like the ads you know, for this video here today. Kind of like a podcast that really burdened us a lot with it, like AG1 with Andrew Huberman, just constantly getting all these freaking ads. But I'm actually sharing that with you so you can benefit. Let's go into how you can actually cultivate consistency with your holistic habits. And this could be anything this applies to. Number one and most important thing is really get deep into the why. Why do you wanna create change in your lifestyle? Why do you wanna start eating healthy? Why do you wanna start moving more? Why do you wanna start lifting weights? Why do you wanna reframe your mindset? Why do you wanna be happier when you look in the mirror and just be like, damn. I love my abs, I love the way I feel and look. Why do you wanna make these changes? If you could dig deep in seven layers deep, put this on a journal entry. Why do I want this change? Well, I'll look better, you know, I'll feel better. What does that mean? Take that another, another layer deeper. Well, so I can show up for my family more. Okay, you're getting somewhere now. Well, I can, you know, build my family and live free on land. Okay, well, I can be more financially free. Just get layers deep and get to that root cause effect and that will inspire you to be more consistent and really focus in on the negativities that inspire positivities. Because if you really focused on the negativities, it'll push you and if you have that, positivity, which is the deeper why of like, okay, I really wanna make these changes and go here, that will pull you. So really write down what are the negatives of consistently doing what you know you shouldn't be doing, and what are the positives that can pull you into the right direction. This is a great way to make different habits 
and make healthy habits consistent so you aren't yo-yoing all the time. I will mention as well, get clear with your goal structure in a three month time span. Three to four months is a great spectrum for you to solidify goals. So if your goal is to lose 10 pounds of fat, make that clear in a SMART goal setting. Write down SMART goals, S-M-A-R-T, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time bound. If you get that very clear, it's a very scientific way to cultivate your goal setting and actually make it a reality. Crystallize on a piece of paper in a journal prompt alongside the whys, your purpose, your whys. Cultivate next to that, the SMART goal setting. Look up SMART goals, you can do more browsing online. I'll give you that as a little nudge though to keep going is SMART goals. Next is oversimplification, worship simplicity. So really focus in on how can I grab the low hanging fruit versus making a gargantuan change in your goals. You really wanna make this sustainable, right? We'll make it simple. This is what the Stoics did. Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Socrates, they worshiped simplicity. Don't overwhelm yourself with so many things you can do at once. Focus on one habit, crystallize it into your overall goals and make it happen every single day for a week or two weeks and then move on to another habit. Be consistent for one to two weeks, then add on more. Most of the time it's about eliminating, then adding. So eliminate the bad habits, create a void, and then open up that void to adding on simple habits that you can consistently stick to. A good example of this is could be your sleep schedule, right? Let's say you're going to bed at midnight right now and you're like, I really don't like that. Well, maybe shift your goal into 11.30 p.m., 30 minutes earlier, and make that the goal for the next one to two weeks and just go to bed at that time. Once you accomplish that, shift it to 11 p.m. or add on another goal because maybe you're satisf satisfied with 11.30 p.m. Maybe the new goal is, oh, I'm gonna start you know, eating breakfast, okay? So then you can start adding that one habit on top of the sleep schedule of eating breakfast. So get very clear on one habit at a time. Don't do multiple habits at once. Stick to oversimplification. That'll help you get the results you want. Another way to make it consistent in your lifestyle is making it enjoyable. Have a fun time. That is my core value is making things fun, making it humorous, making it playful. It's a big part of my essence. You might notice that through all my content. Making things fun, making it enjoyable, it's gonna make it stick. If you're dreading the workouts, how can you make it fun? Instead of saying, oh, I really gotta lift these weights, I don't wanna do it. How can you make it fun? Can you do it with a friend? Can you do it with a team of people? And maybe it's a group setting workout structure. Is it instead of lifting weights to start, maybe it's going to a tennis tournament because you like tennis or start with low hanging fruit like we said earlier and making it enjoyable. That's what's gonna make it stick. If you're dreading the habit, you're not gonna make it a lifestyle. I now enjoy eating beef liver. I now enjoy eating only whole foods and very, very little amounts of processed foods. I enjoy not drinking alcohol now. I enjoy waking up early with the sun at 6.30 a.m. Like these are things that I enjoy now, right? So think about how you can make it enjoyable and then it will stick. Last but not least is having a support system. Doing it alone in ancestral times put up our red lights of wow, 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 you're gonna die. So if we did it alone in ancestral times, as humans, we wouldn't survive. We're tribal in nature. We're humans that are tribal in nature. So focus on that primal urge to work with others on an overarching goal. Maybe you have some friends right now or maybe you don't have any online or in person that you can begin to create these habits with in conjunction with them and just motivate each other and create that camaraderie, right? It's really, really powerful. And this is another reason why I think this interface of online networking is really potent because it can help us get those notifications. We see someone's winning, that's inspiring. Look at those triumphs, look at those successes, look at those challenges. Let's work through it together and inspire each other as a team, as a tribe. And this is another reason why I built out the Vital Camp community because it just creates that sense of I'm not alone in this journey to become more financially fit through helping others with online content creation or coaching or I'm able to go through my fitness feats or my nutritional uh, accomplishments and share that with others because I'm in this with others that are in the same conscious hemisphere of conspiracy theories and living more natural in a conjunction to nature, not the big pharma and big government stuff. So if that sounds like something you wanna do, that's what it's all about at Vital Camp. That can help you out a lot. Or I can help you hire a coach that is in resonance with who you are and your personality and your traits and where you wanna go. Find people that can support you on your journey. Don't do it alone. Find a prosperous community either in person, attend yoga shops, go to some uh, weight training classes as a group, or just attend Zoom calls and community group coaching and whatever it may be. I have a lot of offerings along these lines. 
Vital Camp's a great community aspect, but there's also launches with a men's community where we talk about masculinity, eating healthier, moving healthier, becoming a more sovereign man and stronger man. That's in the liveinterfit.com. Amazing group coaching program if you're interested in that. Book a call with me to talk more about it too. I have a lot of offerings, but you don't even have to follow my lead on this stuff. Find someone online or find someone in person that you can say, full fuck yes, I'm going into this head first and I wanna grow with them because a support system is key for your consistency. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope this helped you out. We have smart goal structure, defining your why, making it enjoyable, having a support system, making it simple. If you worship simplicity, you'll stick to it. If this helped you out, hit the like button. Share this with someone that may benefit. And uh, man, I hope to see you, you know, in the flesh or possibly just on the community interface to start. We can really uh, jive and make some magic happen to live more healthy and prosperous and free. So I will see you guys on the other side of Vitality. Peace and love from above and take care.